Here we go, guys. 52-year-old Korean uncle, old school David, versus Daniel the frat boy. So, wow, they're kicking with shoes, guys. This is like a savat match. So we know old school David has a very cool rhythm. He's very explosive, so a lot of people underestimate him. But he sometimes doesn't land on his foot correctly when he's striking, and he leaves his face open. So those are two things you got to kind of watch out for. And, ooh. He got, that was more just seeing, he's off balance a lot. So sometimes he launches his strike before his foot that should generate the power from the ground. It, it doesn't even land yet. So you're going to see that a lot. I don't know what old school David's training is, but no, that was a really cool second. Ooh, almost like a capoeira kick right there. Dude, I should have known that this was a kickboxing match with shoes, man. I would have brought on Coach Nicholas Senyak. Because, you know, he's a Savak coach. He would give us a lot of insight, you know. There's a kick you can do with shoes. It's called the coup de pied basse. It's basically almost like a Wing Chun shovel kick, but it's not a shovel motion. It's a straight type of oblique motion. And it really hurts the shin, but you can also use it as a sweep. And it works really well with shoes. You know, without the shoes, the issue is you're hitting either with the top of your foot or you're hitting with the arc, right? But shoes, it's a really... Nice little jagged surface that you can do this little low kick that I'll have to kind of show you guys in the future. Maybe I'll put a little insert from my time with Nicholas Senyak. So, oh, ow, ow. I'm pretty sure he ate that kick to the face, man. Oh, yeah, he ate that kick to the face. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, ooh, yeah. A uh, standing count right there. Definitely give him a standing count. Oh, ow, 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 ooh, ooh, ow, 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 ow. I don't think you should continue this. I don't know if you should continue. I mean, props to old school David or... Our Uncle David for being such a great sport. But man, I don't know if this is good for your brain. I hope he does a lot more exercises of the neck, man. Did he Did he call it? Never mind. Never mind, guys. We got a round two coming up. All right, guys. Let's see what happened. Let's see if old school David can have a better rhythm. Don't. Yeah, exactly. Hands have to be up, old school David. There we go. Push kick him. Push. Ooh, ow. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Oh, man. Oh, man. Woo! That was a mea lua de compasso. I see. <laughs> oh, nice. Old school David pressing in. Just be careful. Don't. There you go. No, oh, you got him. He got him. Ooh, he got him. He got him. Ooh, but he's eating way too many hits back, man. Wow. Ooh, the overhand right a little bit too telegraphed. Look at that. He did get our. Our frat boy, pretty good. Nice. Look at that. The crowd cheering. Old school David, man. The hand needs to come back to your face after swinging it. So, low kicks would really help right now. Good. Oh, he thought about it wrong. The leg, though. Wow. So, yeah. This one is crazy. Um, Look at that. The frat boy has slowed down, too. Oh, so it's a doctor stoppage, so old school David wins this. Good job, Daniel, man. Good job, Daniel. Good job, old school David. This was an awesome mash, man. Wow. And then you kick. I can feel it, man. Yeah? Through the shingle? Wow, yeah. Good. Wow. Well, yeah, there you go. Oh, one, two, three. There. Boom. That's it. That's it. And so you see the shoulder turning that is where the power is going to come from. Yeah. So going from... Turning the hip here, prepares that punch, boom. Yeah. By the time you guys see this, I'm going to be on a plane back to the D.C. area. I'm doing a chess tournament in the D.C. area. So I'll be there for a few weeks. If any viewers in the D.C. metropolitan area, so that's Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Virginia, West Virginia. If you guys want to meet up somewhere in D.C., somewhere in Rockville maybe, love to meet you guys. I had a lot of fun at Dragon Fest Expo, so I'm like, you know what? It's cool to meet viewers of this channel. Some of my other channels, maybe not, but this channel, I like the viewers. Anyways, guys, make sure to go follow Street Beast. Shout out Street Beast for being safe and shout out both Daniel I called you a frat boy but if you're not a frat boy let us know in the comments at old school David sometimes he will comment so I will definitely pin his post Street Beast has been doing an awesome thing all these years make sure to press a like leave your comments on whatever okay guys talk to you soon see you guys in the DC area